Hey guys, it's homeowner Scott again with another quick how-to video. Um, today what I'm dealing with is my Echo SR225 string trimmer. The fuel line are messed up. Actually, the vent one, you can see I stuck a little screw in the hole just temporarily so I could finish using it. Um, but I need to replace these lines. There's two there and plus the vent hose line and I'm also going to replace the filter and the uh, spark plug and in order to do that I went ahead and bought a little kit as you can see that's the kit it has all the fuel lines in it so I didn't have to find measurements on them which was kind of nice so I emptied the fuel already because I don't want that leaking everywhere I'll take off the air filter cover just to get that out of the way so that I have more room and I'm going to replace that air filter too inside there I'm going to just go ahead and unplug this uh... I have to put the phone down for a second so I unplugged the spark plug I'm going to change that anyway I had to actually use needle nose pliers to get that off it was on so tight so, next thing I'm going to do, let's see if I can pull this screw back out of this grommet here. You won't have this. I did this temporarily. Now I'm going to set it on its side. Sorry if I'm shaking. I do all my videos with one hand and the other holding the camera. So I'm just going to take a flathead. So if you can see, I'm just taking a flathead screwdriver and I'm just pushing that off. I don't know if you can see. Should be able to pull it off now. Okay, that one's off. There might be some uh, gas leaking when you do this and this harder plastic one I'm able to just kind of wiggle it off see that so those two are off and you're gonna have a probably a, a, the vent hose here but mine's missing it actually fell off while I was using it and I don't know what happened to it hence the re one of the reasons I'm changing it now I'm gonna take the uh, gas tank off there's three screws one two and if you see one there, it's a T27 uh, driver. And I don't know if I have to take the gas tank off, but I think it might be a little bit easier. So that I can get the uh, this grommet out and re-thread in there through that. I'm just unscrewing this. Remember, I'm, I'm a homeowner. I do everything myself. I don't call anybody for nothing, so you think you can do things better that's fine I don't I don't care so you can leave your comment to yourself and uh, let's see we just these are kind of tight I'm holding this with one hand remember I'll just loosen them all the way around I'm sure you can do this too everything is easy you just try it don't be afraid to try if you screw up then you can take it somewhere that's dirty all right you can see that's what it looks like i'm just going to kind of wipe this nastiness off I don't want this stuff somehow getting back into the gas tank. And I also cleaned off all in here. I sp actually sprayed some uh, carburetor cleaner all around the, the carburetor and all in here to get all any gunk off before and I put this back together. So while that carburetor cleaner is drying. I'm gonna 
I gotta pick this grommet out with a flathead screwdriver all the way around. So I did that and now I just see how it sits in there. Now I'm just pulling the whole thing out with the filter. There's the filter. I don't think I've ever changed that. And you can see here's the new part. All nice. Came all in one piece. Isn't that nice? So that's pretty clean looking under there. Now, if you remember it, it was the black one was on here and then the plastic yellow was there. So I kind of want to get the grommet kind of sitting the same way. That way I can line it up into that hole and make the make it easier for me. Now, in order to get this grommet back in here, I'm going to see if I can do it just as is, but I may have to put something slippery on it. I'm not sure maybe some soap let's see it without it first so I'm just kinda letting this fall back in there the new one and you'll see this is the actual piece that was missing off of mine that had fallen off so there's the new one in I'm, I apologize I couldn't show me putting it in because I needed both my hands to do it. I did wind up putting a little dab of dishwashing liquid around that part. You might want to use grease. I don't know. I didn't really want to do that, but that was the only way I could get it in. It was just so uh, tight. So anyway, now it's time to hook it all back up. And even and even when I had that I had to take my flathead and kind of you know push down to get it inside that hole just be careful you don't rip it or break anything and now I just line those three screws back up I'm glad I took the tank off because it would have been really hard to put that new grommet thing in there and you can see how the the gas lines are going to line up perfectly I gotta figure out where this vent thing goes because it was missing. I'm thinking it just sits up in there somewhere. And I'll tell you what, when that thing was missing, the gas was pouring and blowing out of that grommet hole everywhere. And that's why I temporarily stuck a screw in there just so I could finish. Alright, that's nice and tight. It's just time to push these back up. Remember the black one went on that one and the clear one there. See, so all I'm doing is just pushing them up on that little nipple all the way up. All right, and that's it. So now I'm going to change the spark plug and put a new filter on here. So I guess you could say I'm kind of doing a tune-up here, a partial one, you know this that you just turn it off oh. lefty loosey tidy righty tidy I mean it wasn't starting bad but you know they say you should change these every so often and I don't want to be stuck again having a problem And I bought the one that goes for the Echo, so I shouldn't have to gap it or anything. It does look pretty, pretty dirty and carbony. And this is the spark plug for it. And you want to make sure the new one starts screwing on tight, nicely, without because you don't want to strip it. And I usually just turn it until it gets snug and I'll tighten it now I'm just gonna put on the new filter and that just kinda sits in there like that I'm gonna put it up on here you know what actually it's easier to set it inside here first 
and then I can line it up easier. Just screw that down. Just tighten that down. And I just gotta put the gas cap back on. This plastic just squeezes in there. Now we're gonna put some gas in it and try it out. I remember this type of two cycle engine takes the, the two stroke oil that you gotta mix with gasoline. So I usually buy just one of these and pour it into one gallon of gasoline and mix it up and then put that in there. All right guys, it seems to be working great. No more leaking. Perfect. And I'm sure you guys can do it just as easily. Just don't be afraid to try. Have a good evening.